All right, it, it, I've got the uh, flag to where I like it. And what I'm gonna do right now is give it some bending. See, I wanted to check on uh, if the, uh, let me get this light above it. I want to check if the uh, edge of the paper lifts off, and it does a little bit, so I'll have to glue that a little bit before I take it to the foundry. I'm not going to get a lot of movement in that uh, clay. Um, trying to think how I'm going to do this. I'd like to have more movement in the uh, flag, but uh, I'm limited by the uh, weight of the clay. All right, I'm going to get busy on the horse, and I'm going to put the flag aside for now. Time to play with some clay. I'm going to use the uh, smooth side of this uh, sculpting tool to kind of take some of the high areas off the uh, clay. I still want it to look sculptural, but uh, not too rough. Now I just stuck these feathers on. They're not on there permanently because I want them to be able to cast those separate.
I'm just going to put a little t texture in the uh, horse's tail. I'm not going to do a lot because I kind of like it the way it is, but I want to add this a little bit more. All right, this is going to be the last thing I do today. I'll pick this up Monday and uh, work on the two feathers on the uh, tail of the uh, horse. They're just roughed in here. And uh, actually, I've got one feather left. It looks like one of them fell off. Anyway... I'm going to uh, use some Ronsonol on a uh, Brillo pad. I'm going to find my Brillo pads. There they are. And just start working on the uh, smoothing of the clay a little bit. I'm going to use a glove because I don't want to get this on my skin. My skin is sensitive, sensitive, sensitive enough right now. And it gets more sensitive as years go by. <laughs> All this does is just take out any little rough areas that I can't get with my fingers. Not rubbing really hard, I'm just uh, 
barely going over it actually and I don't have it soaked I just have it wetted down So next week I'll work on his face and anything else that needs to be done on his body and uh, that will pretty much be it. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to take this to the foundry on Thursday. Uh, they're closed on Saturday, Friday so I've got to do it by Thursday if I'm going to take it. And uh, let's see, I'm going to put a little bit of this Ronsnall in this ramekin to smooth out the uh, rough areas of the tail I'm using a basting brush and the reason I'm using a basting brush is because they're made so that the hairs won't come off on the food and the last thing you want is little tiny hairs coming off in your clay so it's a cheap brush that you can use That won't uh, shed. Okay. That's going to do it for today. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe and click the bell so that you can keep up with what I'm doing. Good night everybody. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.